Howdy y'all, welcome to Sam's Whiskey Bar. I am Mr. Sam. Hello, I'm Rod. Hello, I'm AJ. And AJ is the champion of what we are doing, and that is a $30 under blind bottle share. So we each brought a $30 under bottle. Now what are we gonna do, Phyllis? We're gonna drink some whiskey. And I'm not going to win this one. I will guarantee it. Oh, did you bring some mellow corn? No, you definitely didn't bring mellow corn. No, it's not pea water. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rod's pretty confident. His bag said Stacy's mom on it. Oh, it's... and as everybody knows, Stacy's mom has. She's got, got it. it going on. Got it going on. Yeah. So I'm a little worried about that one. So I smelled like Christmas. So I found my bottle at a gas station in Missouri. Ooh, shit, that's good too. Well, I shop in Missouri gas stations all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that one's very, it smells like it's got a little age. I'm getting a little bit floral. I'm getting a lot of floral, AJ. Not just a little bit. When I first went to it, I was like, okay, <clears throat> springtime. Springtime, things are in bloom. Yeah. There's a little sweet, a muddled sweet behind the floral. It's very sweet. Whatever it is, it's got a sweet, like cotton candy. I <clears throat> get a little whiff of confection sugar. Well, it certainly smells good. I think I know what this one is. This one smells like toffee. I'm getting a little seahorse spit. I think it like Cracker Jacks. Toffee, you need toffee. Rye, rice spice behind the cracker and sweet? I don't know. You guys always want to do this on days that I sand. <laughs> I want to do this every day. It's a matter of getting everybody together. I seen this on the back. Yeah. On like, like the back, you, way back yeah, in. Yeah, back in the sinuses. <laughs> Catching that rye spice way back in the sinuses. Peanut butter on it. You getting a little Jim Peanut. Beam? Jim I think I smell profile. what you're smelling for the apple, that, that sweet. Yeah, that, sweet, that's, tingy, high. Yeah. For me, it hits right in the very beginning, but then sweet and sour. But then it goes to the. I don't get any peanut, chocolate, peanut butter, fudge type. He's good at getting the peanut. He 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 likes he mm. likes the nut in his mouth. Other than that, it makes it all smell like Jim Beam stuff. Which if this if AJ bought it in a store in Missouri a gas station, it could be Jim Beam. It could be a Jim Beam black. It's not. I guarantee it. <clears throat> That's it exactly is. what somebody would say if they brought a Jim Beam Black. <laughs> it is not. It's one you guys would, I'm pretty I'm sure. Glad I know you. No, well. Nobody's ever heard of. Oh. I'm glad that I know you well enough to know you don't lie. Okay. <clears throat> I get, if you, on the last one, if you close your mouth and take a good whiff, you get a pine, like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Or a wreath. Cedar. Type Very of. cedar. I think this is the one I brought. I don't remember the one I brought. I don't even know what it you was. You don't know. You don't know what Stacy's mom smells like. Stacy's mom's been in a bag for for <laughs> she's dried up. Single bag or double bagger? No, I think it's single bag. Okay, but I, I didn't even remember the shape of the bottle until I picked it up this afternoon, and I'm like, oh, it's round. Okay. Stacy's mom's pretty popular. You might want to double bag that whiskey next time. Yeah. No, that's, oh my gosh, I don't even want to... I'll just say I got a sage smell on it. Do you know what sage smells one? like? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I, I'm now go back to two because you get that apple on... Hey, sauerkraut? I just so go it. back to the second one. You get that apple on it again. On You get it, the apple on it. On that one? Yeah. I just got dirt like nobody's business on that one. There is no way there, sir. I did get the pine. Holy mackerel. Yep. That totally changed number two's nose. Mm-hmm. I got Band-Aid on number two on the nose there when I first went to it, which I think is a rye. I think it was a rye, like a medicinal rye Damn. after going to that. I would say this is a craft, a craft distillery that uses MGP as well with their juice. I know what this is. Oh my God, this two smells so good. One is very confusing. I think these two are non-big brand, and I think this one's a big brand. I trust my nose more than my palate most of the time when I'm guessing stuff. Okay, so which one do you think you're going to like the most? I think I'm going to like two the most. No, I do too. 
it's, um, a, it's, not yeah, so it's head it's head and shoulders above the other two on the nose to me for my for what the i the like. super dark one smells really good it smells I mean, good the light one don't smell bad it's just kind of lacking that complexity it don't have a whole lot there i'm preferring the nose on number one and then two and then three and i think uh i agree with your crafty on three three yep i think three is all right, well, we start with one on a drink, fellas. The fun part. Oh, goodness, I got a little chocolate on those right there. I got chocolate on my palate after I swallowed. So you do swallow. That's what she said. You're the one that likes nut in your mouth. Okay, I would say that the palate doesn't stand up to the nose. It was like a very muted light palate to me. It was sweet. Mm, I like it. It's very good. It's very smooth, very drinkable. But from for where I am at a higher proof drinker and more of a rye forward guy, I think this has some rye in it. For sure. I think it might even be a high rye. I like oh, yeah. how I like how sweet that is. He's got some trickery to him for sure. I like how sweet that is. That is very good. That is very good pour. I get it's a lot big. of vanilla off of that. Yeah, thing. there we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's the I mean it's like a piece of vanilla candy. Like vanilla bean, straight like up. Like almost vanilla finished. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, on the aftertaste big time. Yeah, this so is, a, after you swallow, it's been on your tongue for 20 seconds. This is more vanilla than I've ever gotten. I'm going to say, that. that's what I'm going to say. How yeah. is this? But uh, now smell it. This, now smell it. You can smell it. whiskey. This has got to be blended. I've got a little chocolate. I enjoy this one. I do enjoy this one. I agree. My, my I enjoy that one. So my tasting, I, I got vanilla, chocolate, spice. I do think it has. It's a higher rye, higher rye. Yep. It may not be a rye. No, it's probably it's, 36, 30, but it's 36. it's a higher or, rye. Because I got that tingle on my tongue mm -hmm. on the aftertaste with the vanilla. And on my lips. It could be the wood tan, so it's so damn dark. That's that's the hard thing about it is, is it rye or is it the wood that's tingling, you know? That's true. We were buying a bottle under $30. I don't even remember. I don't Where do you get a finished bottle for under 30? I don't know. Where'd you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Liquor store in, the, in Missouri. It just doesn't have the mouth feel. It just doesn't stand up. It to doesn't two. have the flavor. It's got, that's a, a flat number two. See, I think yeah. number one is the flat one. I think number two is sharp. I, it's got the rye spice. I think that is sweet I prefer and one. smooth. I do too. I like the nose on one. That was my first choice for nose. Uh, and the flavor so far. My first choice for nose was the two. But palate, I like number one better. I like that vanilla chocolate. So one, to me, tastes so much better than, than two. And man, this is going to be tricky. Because one of these is what I prefer. To me, I haven't... <laughs> I haven't had a drink on number two, and it's still finishing, guys. Number one went away within 10 to 15 seconds, but the vanilla stayed there. I'm getting sour But the mouthfeel is still three. on my number two. So oh, you're on number three now? No, well, I haven't drank three. I haven't drank it. I'm I, have just... a feeling I'm, I have a feeling I'm just going to take a sip of this one. <sighs> Did you not drink two? Yeah, I drank it. It was great. It's still finishing. That's why I haven't gone to oh. three. My my tongue still has finishing going on big time. I was finished with number two, two before you finished one. <laughs> oh man. Okay. It's got some heat to it. I like that. I I know my I know my placement. Very easy placement for me. Two's going down, by the way. That's fine. Three is... If we are all drinking the same one... Three's that's good. True. It's good. That is true. Because if you are if you and I are talking about a different one, that would make sense. Because... Yeah. Three is just... I, I'm going to tell you three is probably the one I brought because I've, I tried it. Three's good. It it it's, definitely tastes better than it smells. It's, it does. It's good, but it it's there's just not a whole lot kicking off in there. I'm gonna see a to spice. me. See to me. I think that it, as far as the mouthfeel goes, I'm going two, three, or yeah, two, three, one mouthfeel and proof and what I look for in a whiskey. 
these two make number one look like a dog to me. Oh, in boy. my palate. I mean, there is just, if I was going to give somebody new to whiskey a drink out of these three, it would be number one. Really? Yep. All day long. So what are we judging on? The what you like. Flavor. Okay. What you like. Which one I like the best? Mm -hmm. I like a... I like how sweet one is. I like how easy to drink it is. I like I catch a little chocolate on the palate. But other than that, it doesn't finish. It's gone mm. in ten seconds. Where number two and number three stick around for minutes after you drink them. I do get a little dirt on that too. That does have that that, ha that does have dirt in it. Uh, Which you know how I like an earthy, earthy aftertaste, mm -hmm. that oak, earthy, dusty. Mm -hmm. Oh, go to two now. Are you getting what I'm getting? <laughs> how about a? It's very high rye. <clears throat> two yeah. is a high rye. Yeah. I like two. I mean, it's for me. It's a tough decision between two, and well, these two. See, to me, it's a tough mm -hmm. decision between two and three. I'm at one and three. See, three just guys. We might have a tie here. One is a piece of candy. It's to me. It's it's almost it like is. vanilla it is. and berry candy. Like. It, it definitely should be in the candy section and not in the alcohol section. So it's what are we, easy uh, to drink, dude. It is easy to drink. It, put a straw in it and give it to a ten year old, and they'd kill it. So that one came back. Two. That drink on two was good. It's fucking awesome. I put a lot. I put a lot in the mouthfeel, where just kind of where I'm at. I don't like something that's really, really smooth and crushable. I want something that I can't crush. The scoring, even though number one got two second place points, we have the winner, number three. Glass number three is in first. All right. Glass number two is in second. Okay. And glass number one is in third. Okay. Did she write down whose name? I'm going to go get her and find out. No, oh, okay. She's going to come down and tell us which one she poured in which. Yep. Okay. I think I'd rather go. All right. A my, tie. <laughs> my wonderful wife, Miss Jamie, is here to tell us what glass was what. Let's start with last place. Number one. Glass number one. one. Stacy's mom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you went with the bourbon thirty, dude. I almost picked this up the other oh, day. Oh, is that what that is? I almost, okay, I almost picked that up the other day, but it was fifty bucks. I was like, I am not spending fifty bucks on what? a bourbon thirty. Yeah, when we were we were in Kentucky, but I'd oh. never seen that one before. What do we got here? Bourbon thirty, straight bourbon whiskey, small batch. It's that time, straight bourbon whiskey, barrel crafted, hundred proof. Yes. And my do you of, know uh, my piece of crap whiskey did not finish last. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know if it's a you piece of crap whiskey, one. bro. You <laughs> might have found a budget banger right What's there. number two? Number two, baby. Where are you it going, Sam's? Vanna Wild? Where are you going, Vanna? Let's go. Make it Sam's. Make it Sam's. Make it Sam's. Make it Sam's. Nope, that's me. Oh damn, he won. What do we you want to tell us about this bottle? I don't have a clue. This is 12, 12 foot beard, a Jal bristle whiskey. It's a 90 proof. Um, it's, yeah. Can I see it? That's 90 proof. That's what's impressive about this whiskey. And that color through that thin glass mm -hmm. is pretty dang good. Okay, so this is distilled in Tennessee. Bottled by 12 barrel distilling in Missouri. So they're getting some Juice Tennessee. Did you get a minerality on that? Like if it was Dickel? Mm, no, <laughs> no. Oh, looks like I'm taking over for you. You, you took over the. I'm taking spot. over for oh, you. Oh, no wonder. We have an old Forester Rye, hundred proofer. So we had a ninety and two hundred proofers. Now this is a high rye. Rye, rye, rye. That's a that's such super a good rye. rye. So the old Forester Screw Top Rye is a twenty seven dollar bottle, mm -hmm. and and is that, just, a, and is just, that a liter or and just, yeah? Just remember I got this guys, one for thirty dollars when we were at Tom's. Just for you guys out there, if you see one of these old Forester Rye's, they should be around twenty seven to thirty five bucks somewhere in there. 
Buy every one of them because they are fantastic. They're fantastic. And go to Tom's in Wichita, on the south side of Wichita, and he's got these leaders for 30 bucks. I'm going to have to throw a flag because that's a leader and we were supposed to bring 750s. Well, I could. If I could have shopped for a, a leader, I would have. Okay, go shop for a leader for under 30 bucks and throw it in here. I'm teasing. Well, so, okay, so T-Mots has 750s for 30 bucks. Yeah. We, we definitely know we like that old Forester. Oh, man, it's it good. Is good stuff. When you started talking crap because you knew it was mine, <laughs> you, you knew it was the best one in there. You just put it in last because you knew it was mine. I don't know about Bullshit. that. Bullshit. I'm, I'm ringing the BS, Bill Jackson. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay, so this one, what's cool about this is it has a mash bill of 60% rye, 20% malted barley, and 15% corn. That is a unique mash bill right there. It is. That stuff is so good. So good. And, I mean, Brown Foreman, Old Forester products, you cannot go wrong. Yeah, that, that, is, a, that is a good one. Really, 100% honest, guys. Any one of these bottles is worth buying. Yeah, for 30 bucks. And if sure. you want a really smooth drinker, that is a smooth, smooth drinker. Yeah. And a lower proof at a higher proof taste. Yeah, it's not. I like the chocolate on this. Yeah, I do too. This, that, one for, that one for me was, eh. What did I put it? And I just don't I feel like you it. can go wrong with Old Forester products oh, all yeah. across the board, pretty much. That was probably that peanut butter that I was getting off of that. You think so? You get yeah. peanut butter off of Brown Form and stuff? Yeah. I, I'm. I but the rye, though. I oh. didn't get any of the mint that you normally get off that. Which That's, was your... I didn't get any mint. One or three. That's what I was missing. Or, which, which was your... Which was this? Three. Number three? Yep. One you had in last place. Because yeah. you, you knew it was mine. It smells like Old Forester banana. But I don't smell I the banana. I knew you guys were going to call it out, Old Forester. I freaking knew it. But I don't smell the banana. Three is. You like I, I got. Look the, at this son of a bitch. I got the fruit. I got the fruit <laughs> note from it, but I didn't get banana. Golly. You going to recover after having to drink that Old Forester, I Jackson? I could have bring my sock out in this and it would taste better. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Like, subscribe, share, comment, do all those things, Thanks, and guys. catch us next time. Yeah.